channel today I'm gonna to be doing another wedding video part of my wedding series and we're gonna be talking all about engagement photos and save the dates I'm gonna be sharing some tips on how to prepare for your engagement shoot what to wear how to make it go smoothly and some little life hacks and tips for sending your save the dates if you like this video and you want to see more like it and want to hear me talk about more wedding stuff make sure to click that subscribe button and join the family now let's go ahead and get into the video when you're planning your engagement photo shoot a great way to save some money on it and make sure that you get a good deal is to bundle it together with whatever wedding package you're doing with your wedding photographer. A lot of the times wedding photographers will offer a discount on additional photo packages if you book your wedding with them or just a discounted rate on the whole thing if you bundle both of those together. Getting photos taken can be really nerve wracking sometimes, especially for something like this because you want them to come out cute, but you get so stressed out over it. So if you go into the photo shoot knowing what you like and what you want in your engagement photos, it'll kind of translate your vision a lot easier easier to the photographer. Look up pictures on Pinterest and Google of engagement photo shoots and what poses and styles that you like and send those to your photographer beforehand. Props are also a great way to not only take cute photos but to also make posing a lot less awkward because you actually have something to do or something to hold. We decided to get little bandanas in our wedding colors for our dogs that said our wedding date on them and I got those on Etsy a few weeks beforehand. And we also got these little Mr. and Mrs. signs at Michael's just a few days before. Honestly, I wish I would have ordered cute your ones online. So make sure that if you want to do props that you think about that like a few weeks beforehand because sometimes it can take a long time to get those things shipped to you, especially if they're from Etsy. Also, make sure to put some thought into what you want to wear and choose your outfit beforehand so that the day of you're not like freaking out about what to wear. So when you're choosing your outfit for the engagement shoot, you want to make sure that the outfit you're choosing and just kind of the overall aesthetic of your engagement photos and your save the dates matches the feel that you're going for with your wedding. Like if you're having a black tie wedding, maybe don't take your engagement pictures in like overalls in like a farmyard but if you're having like a rustic wedding that might be kind of cute so just kind of keep that in mind and you kind of want to make it cohesive and make sure that it all flows together also it's always great to go with bright simple patterns and simple colors that will show up well on camera and won't be distracting since it is an engagement shoe and it's one of the only times that you have like a free pass to be totally cheesy and corny and cutesy I think it's fun to coordinate your outfits Steven and I didn't totally match but we did kind of go for like the same color scheme and I really like the way that they turned out because it's just so cute and I love them and I'm so happy with them. Also, I definitely recommend doing an outfit change if you can. Talk to your photographer beforehand and see if that's possible. I'm totally glad that we did because we got two totally different colors and styles from our engagement shoot, even though it was from the same day. Now, pets. Steven and I decided to include our dogs in our photo shoot because they are very special to us and we wanted them to be a part of our save the dates. And I know a lot of people are the same way. A lot of people have their dogs or their cats in their weddings and they want to have them in the engagement photos but it can be very stressful to have them there especially if you're in like a public situation like we were at a park we had two of my friends who are in our wedding party Emily and Elena come to the photo shoot with us and they held the dogs when they weren't in the shot they also just kind of helped me with my outfits and like told me when I had like smudged lipstick and stuff so it was just super helpful to have them there so if you are bringing pets to your engagement shoot I definitely recommend bringing another person with you that way when your pets aren't in the picture you don't have to stress about them or like put them in a crate or the car or something like that. There's someone there to help you with that and just make sure it all goes smoothly. Okay, so now let's talk about save the dates. Save the dates can totally fluctuate in price from like really cheap to like a thousand dollars or something ridiculous. One way to help save money on your save the dates is to look out for sales and Groupons and all that kind of stuff. All those print companies like Zazzle and Wedding Paper Divas and I don't even remember which one we actually got it from, but you guys know like all of those Vista Print, they all have sales constantly. So don't pay full price for your save the dates if you're doing it from one of those websites. Wait until there's a sale or look for a coupon or a Groupon or something like that. When you're designing your save the dates, it can sometimes seem really overwhelming because there are so many different options and patterns and styles. So I definitely recommend designing a few different free templates on different websites until you find one that's perfect. I actually tweeted my four different options I had designed out to you guys on Twitter and you guys helped me choose, which was super, super helpful. So thanks for that. But kind of like experiment 
with different templates, what picture you wanna use, designs, fonts, all of that. There are also a lot of different options if paper save the dates aren't really your thing. We ended up going with the save the date magnets and I absolutely love the way they came out because it's a little bit more of like a keepsake. People can put it on their fridge, it serves a function. Plus then they won't lose it, like it's on their fridge. So like they can't forget the date. Our date is literally staring them in the face every time they're in the kitchen. I've seen a lot of other cute ideas. Like one that we toyed with doing was like a fast pass save the date since we met at Disneyland, but just patrol Etsy, patrol Pinterest, Google. There are so many different options for save the dates nowadays. If paper cards aren't your style, definitely look into all the different options. And with your save the dates, it's super fun to pick beautiful fonts and designs but the save the date does serve a purpose. You wanna make sure that all the crucial information is on there and easy to read. Don't forget to put your names on it just in case it's going to relatives who might not know you that well or your fiance that well. The date that you're getting married, the city that it's located in, and then you can also put a wedding website or any other details if you have those. You don't have to put the address or the name of the actual venue, just put the name of the city that it's in. That way anyone who needs to book a hotel can do so. Now my last little save the date hack that literally saved us so much time and so much effort is to buy address label stickers. When Stephen and I sent out the invites to our engagement party, we hand wrote not only like everyone else's addresses and names, but we also wrote ours in the top left corner. That made the whole envelope look so cluttered and messy and busy. And it also gave us like double the chance to mess it up. We got a roll of about 200 of these little address stickies that had our name and our return address. And then we just stuck it on. And all we had to do was hand write the address to who it was going to. Now, obviously this doesn't make it quite as personal. So you might not want to do this for your actual wedding invitations, but save the dates are a little bit less formal. So I definitely think it's a great way to save time and energy and extra envelopes by just putting the little sticker on. We sent our save the dates out six months before the wedding, which is pretty standard. If any of you guys are also planning a wedding, that's like a pretty good time to send it out. But if you're doing a destination wedding, you should definitely try to send those out a little bit earlier, maybe more like eight to 10 months before. All right, that is everything that I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that this video was helpful to you. When I was looking into like engagement shoot advice and like save the dates, there wasn't that much out there, especially not on YouTube. So I wanted to make this video so that any future brides or any of you girls who are currently planning a wedding would at least have something to help guide you through the engagement photo process and the save the date process. So hopefully this helped you. Thank you so much for hanging out with me on my channel today. I always have fun filming and editing for you guys and I hope you will subscribe and join the family. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and you wanna see more wedding planning content. You can also click that card right up there or the link in the description for my wedding series playlist. I have made a lot of videos since I got engaged about a year ago. So if you wanna check those out, just check out that playlist. I think that's everything I have for you guys. So I'll see you next time. Bye.